Tada! Hello gamers, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming in lovely Loon, Sweden. For today's episode of A Few Simple Steps, we are going to continue on with our Mordheim theme. Today's project will be walkways, gangways, bridges, ramps, all of these things that we will be using in our Mordheim games. Before we get started in showing you how to make these planks and bridges and walkways, I wanted to show you how they look on the Mordheim table. Let's go ahead and get a little closer look here as we draw in here. They work well for ramps going up to buildings. They also work well for walkways going from building to building. And here's another one right here. You can see how the texture and the various colors gray really uh, help make them pop and look like weathered old plankways. So there you go, a little glimpse of that. Let's go ahead and show you how they're made. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the items that we're gonna need as we move forward with this project. First of all, we're gonna need some of this uh, lat material, some really thin wood of various sizes that we'll be gluing our popsicle sticks onto. Second now is all of these great popsicle sticks that we found out in Loon the other day. We'll finally get to put those to use. To break those off and get them ready, we'll need a simple pliers and to glue them down, a glue gun. And finally, we'll go ahead and paint these up. We're going to use three different colors, a brown as our base coat. Then we'll cover that with a dry brush of a uh, nice gray and then a light, light dry brush of our yellow ochre. In order to get this a really rough look now, what we're going to go ahead and do is to take our pliers and we're going to actually break off the ends of the popsicle sticks to give them that nice rough look. And then we'll go ahead and break them off again. Um, and we're going to make them just various random sizes. We don't want to make it look too uniform. We want to make it look like the, um, the wood has really suffered some major problems. So we'll go ahead and just snap it off there. Um, we got two really rough looking ends and that will be good to go ahead and glue that down. What we're going to do now is go ahead and just add a bunch of different size popsicles uh, and we will add some thinner ones as well to try and get some variation to um, different, different sizes. Um, and an important thing to do here, a little good little tip here, is also not to simply cover all of them um, with single pieces, but in fact to go ahead and um, put a couple double pieces on there. Double pieces give the, the nice uh, look of the planks being broken in the middle. So you can go ahead and say, for example, uh, glue one right here, and then go ahead and glue another one on the other side. So we'll have some nice breaks in the middle as we move forward. This part of the project now is just really simple. We're just going to take our glue gun and just add a little layer of glue right here on the end and stick our piece down and try to keep it butted up against the end of the plank. Uh, hold it for a little second or two there, let it dry. And we'll go ahead then and just keep adding our pieces all the way down until we fill up this entire plank. And remember, uh, we'll change the sizes between small ones and big ones and also uh, ones that are cut and broken in the middle. All right, here's how it looks now when we finished up. You can see how we've nicely spaced these out with small ones and larger ones, how we put different cracks in them in order to give it even an older look. Uh, and basically just glued them right onto the bottom of that piece right there. Uh, and that will be more than enough to give us that look of a good plank. The next thing we're gonna do now is just cover this whole thing in brown paint for our nice brown undercoat before we go ahead and do the dry brushing. So there we go, we slapped on a uh, layer of brown paint on this whole thing. And on the tops there, we use a little bit of a, a more watered down version in order to get some uh, paint into all these different cracks. You can see there's a little bit there that could use a little more brown paint. We can go ahead and do some touch up. But basically you just wanna be able to slap it on nice and thinly um, in order to make sure you get that whole thing covered. And then we can go ahead and start our dry brushing. The first layer we're gonna go with now is the gray. And what we're gonna to try to do is to really center the dry brush in the middle of the planks. So we kind of uh, focus in the middle and move a little bit out on the outside. Um, we'll get some gray more towards the outside as well, but really focusing in the center 
and moving outward. And that'll give us a really, really nice weathered look before we add the dry brushing uh, of, the, of the ochre to give it a more of a pop. So here we go. Um, we'll just focus here in the centers moving outward uh, all along the entire plank, uh, over on the back side as well, and hit the edges with some dry brushing as well. There we go, we're just adding a nice uh, dry brushing right, focusing in the center of the planks and moving outward. You can see how it's uh, highlighting really well the edges of those planks that are sticking out higher than the others. Um, and as you can see here, it's giving us a very nice effect along the entire plank. So there we go, all finished up. You got a really nice cover with the gray. We'll show you the back side. We got some good cover there as well, and along the edges. Now one thing, even though we tried to focus on the center of the piece, I think a really good thing to do um, is to go back over then and to really uh, hit these edges with um, just a nice touch of gray to make them really pop. So go ahead and use your dry brushing technique and hit those edges. You can see here how they have a really nice, uh, uh, a really nice pop on the ends, and that gives the illusion even better of a weathering. So there we go. With that done, let's move on to our final step, and that is going to be to just lightly dry brush with our yellow. So we have the brown down, we have the gray now for the weathering, and the last step is to get a little bit of our uh, yellow ochre for our accent color. Now remember, this is gonna be a highlight, this is our last highlight, um, and we don't wanna use a ton of it, we just want to use this now to help accentuate and pop the, uh, the edges, the corners, pieces that stick up, different planks, even more. So go ahead and get your dry brush brush ready. And you can start then to apply very carefully uh, to your piece, just hitting the edges, the tops, and just getting a really light brushing, once again, focusing in the middle, uh, but also getting those edges uh, and getting a nice little extra layer and extra nuance of color to make that pop even a little bit more. So there we go. That's how that will look when we get that all set up. Let's go ahead and finish this up and see how it looks when it's all done. And so there we are now with the final layer, the final highlight on there. And I put this down here next to the other one to show you uh, the difference. And you can see here how this one is much more nuanced with those two colors of highlights versus just the one there. So we can go ahead and finish up the rest of our pieces by adding just a little bit of yellow ochre highlight to make it pop a little bit more and give that old rustic look, uh, make it even more realistic. So let's finish those up. And here's the final shot of the four gangways that we made with their weathered planks. Uh, pretty easy to make, um, very cheap, and as you can see, they will look really good on our Mordheim terrain boards, or just as general terrain. Well, there you have it, folks. A few simple steps for constructing really good-looking uh, walkways, gangways, ramps for your Mordheim games. Well, thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.